Depression was a major thing after the accident. But I had to fight with that battle daily. Such a dark time in my life. And I said, don't give yourself an excuse to be a failure. You have lost nothing. You can be better than you ever were. Yeah, this is a regular routine. This is like the socket, it like helps it stick to my leg. Just kinda make sure it's even and make sure it's tight. And then the strap goes through here. Make sure I'm tight in there and then pull this down so it's nice and tight. Simple as that. <laughs> Ready to uh, attack the day. He's up to me again. He's like windshield wipe. On that third one, he stuffs me. Windshield wipe. I do. Damn it. Look how good my partner is being. He's flattening out. All right, let's go. One. Ready? Go. I started wrestling when I was in first grade. Ever since I started it, uh, I was just pretty natural at the sport. When I really started getting serious was about fifth grade, either going to wrestling camps or, you know, wrestling freestyle in Greco. And I continued to do that throughout junior high. My freshman year came along. I was undefeated and I ended up winning a state championship. My sophomore year, I won state. So I won state my junior year. I went and wrestled at Fargo that summer. If you All-American at Fargo, you're automatically on a college coach's radar. Doyle, as far as a wrestler, I, I liked everything about him. I liked the way that he competed. I liked his aggressiveness, um, very offensive. You know, he was a guy that off the whistle was gonna start attacking and, and he was gonna wrestle um, that style for six minutes. And so uh, we were really excited to have a chance to recruit an athlete like Doyle. Get a little bit of elevation. Yes. Good. You just get used to, he gets his hand locked. Yeah, now it's just this fight, this long drawn out fight, you know, where maybe I get kicked over the top. And then I have to fight all the way back in through the position. You're just fighting to stay 50-50. And that's, that's what's the difference maker. You know what I mean? If you really want to get ahead in the position, you limit his options. Right. Yes. Good. Good. Quick. Yep. Good. I was recruited by Army and Navy, South Dakota State, Nebraska, Wyoming. Well, we felt Doyle was going to be a lifer, 125-pounder. That's what we were looking for. We were finishing up with Tyler Cox, you know, who was an All-American for us and a very, very good wrestler for us. When I was here on my recruiting trip, I got to drill with Tyler Cox. Our vision was, was Doyle learning under, under uh, Tyler and, and coming here and developing under Tyler. And really the process moved very quick. I signed my NLI to Wyoming and now I could just uh, focus on my fourth state title. My senior year, my fourth state title, it wasn't even real life when it actually happened. You know, I was, I was so happy with myself, but you know, I don't really show emotions out on the mat. It's something that I dreamed of when I was a little kid and I made it happen. After that, uh, Flow Nationals is coming up. Mitch Moore out of Ohio rocking a team PA singlet, taking on Nebraska's Doyle Trout. Trout, four-time state champ out of Nebraska. Didn't wrestle like as well as I thought I could. It wasn't the result I wanted, I got sixth place. I flew back and I believe the next day was Easter Sunday. I got in the car and started going to my friend's house. I was on my phone, kind of, you know, I'm just looking at my phone periodically, just enjoying the day. 
I'm just kind of hit and seek with the radio station and must have just kind of started drifting over in the car and I just go to overcorrect myself. They take me to the hospital, they x-rayed me and they saw that my right leg was broken so they went and did surgery on my right leg. At that point, they didn't realize that my artery behind my knee had been burst. A long time without blood flow to a body part, you know, it's not good. From my knee down, basically, my leg had died. Um, and that's like what I remember next is being on like an operating table and the doctor informing me that I had to um, have an amputation. It was devastating. You know, it was, it was um, heartbreaking. My supervisor, Matt Wisnett, walks into my office and says, if you want to fly to the hospital, we have a private jet waiting for you. I actually called Tyler Cox. I asked Tyler what his class schedule was and if he could fly with us. The next thing I remember was waking up in the intensive care unit. My dad and my mom, you know, they were like, there's people who want to see you. When a kid commits and, and signs a national letter of intent, I'm committed to him. You know, he told me when he came and saw me that he was going to honor my scholarship, and I was very thankful to him for that. We saw um, pictures of, of the car, and I thought, he shouldn't be alive. <laughs> the accident it took a lot of toll on my body, and it took a long time to heal. I think I had to be here around August 27th for school to start, but I still don't have the leg at that point. They're going to ship it to me in October. So I'm going to college, you know, on crutches. I'm kind of here by myself, I'm alone. You know, I see these people staring at me and I'm like, you know, they're just thinking at me and just thinking horrible things. But in all reality, they're probably just wondering what happened. But I had to fight with that battle daily. Such a dark time in my life. You know, when he first got here, he struggled um, with fitting in. You know, he couldn't do anything physically. The first week of school, we're starting conditioning. We're starting lifting. He can't do any of it. I wasn't in no shape to wrestle or anything. We tried to fill the gaps with, with rehab. And there was plenty of rehab to do. Everybody on the wrestling team was really supportive. I didn't really know my place, you know, I just was kind of there. His motivation was gone, I think depression set in. Depression was a major thing after the accident. Some people would offer me help and I'd be like, no, I got it. I was just feeling sorry for myself. I was just, you know, in a dark place. He was slipping academically. He was slipping in his life. You know, that first year was that battle. That first year was that way every day. Coach Branch, he picked me up from class. You know, I sat there and, and called him out and, and had a heart to heart. And I said, don't, don't give yourself an excuse to be a failure. You have lost nothing. You can be better than you ever were. That was the first time that I met Doyle Trout. And, uh, you know, it changed our relationship. Since then, Doyle's found his place on his team. Our team's got this new form of softball that they've started playing. And Doyle can stand there and bat with the best of them. You know, he's figured out how to function normal. We've been working freestyle. I have a pretty good gut wrench and I've been <laughs> able to gut wrench some of the guys. So I'm like wondering if freestyle might be better for me. And folks out when I'm on top, you know, they're trying to get away from me. The freestyle, you know, if I get a takedown, they're just gonna lay there and, and got a good gut, so. <laughs> the question that uh, always comes up is, you know, people are asking me about Anthony Robles. He's definitely an uh, inspiration of mine. Um, ultimately, you know, I'm not Anthony Robles. Robles was born that way. Robles learned to wrestle that way. Doyle didn't learn to wrestle with one leg until last October. <laughs> Doyle just started wrestling. It's like starting a sport from scratch. Before I always hated losing, and I kind of like struggled with that a little bit in the beginning. I'd be like 
losing like you know goes in practice and I just get so frustrated but I don't know, there just comes like a point where it either like breaks you or like it builds more character so I was just like well you know nobody's expecting me to win so I don't know why I'm getting so mad at myself season came around and even though I hadn't wrestled for a year and a half, I was still wanting to try. I was like, right, let's do this. Stroud is four-time state champ from Nebraska, lost his leg in a tragic car accident. I mean, I was scared because I just hadn't had much mat time. This is his first time back on the mat. Pretty exciting stuff. I had a, a good crackdown position and I swam for the head and I came out and I caught the wrist and I transitioned right into like a cross this roll like the end of the period. With one leg, Doyle locked his hands and picked the kid up and, and slammed him to the mat, and I was about fainting. <laughs> As time expires, the first, he rolls to the top, gets a two count. As time expires, Trout, four points right at the end of that period. He goes up. I still have bad days, but uh, the accident's definitely given me like a whole new perspective on, you know, like, life. Before, you know, I took so many things for granted. You know, now I, I've, I've learned to cherish everything in life. I've seen a guy pick up the sport of wrestling in October and um, wrestling his first tournament in November. That's pretty cool to see. The thing that I think has, has made the biggest impact is him being able to be one of the guys. He's a genius when it comes to wrestling. Um, I think he can be an outstanding coach, but he can do a lot of things. The future is bright and the future is wide open. I mean, I want to do uh, maybe some Paralympic stuff. At the end of the day, I'm here, like right now. I'm alive. I'm lucky to be alive from the accident. Still have my family. I'm back on the wrestling mat. You know, there's so many more things that I can look at and be happy about.